Hi, it's Maggie, and this is a sim I made that's remaking one of my old sims from 2021 again. Um, so I made a Ukrainian-inspired sim back then. This is my remake of her. Um, I did originally give her darker hair and darker eyes, but I thought that maybe lighter eyes and lighter hair would look better with her, so I gave her um, blonde, really, really blonde hair and blue eyes. So, yeah. I also thought the lips I originally did for this sim were, like, way too big. I mean, I kind of kept them around the same size, but I still think they were a bit big, her lips. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, here I am just doing her everyday outfit. I think the everyday outfit is super cute. Um, and I, I put a lot of work into her outfits as always. I'm pretty impressed with all her outfits. Although, I don't know how I feel about, like, <laughs> about her face that much. Like, I feel like I could have changed her face a little bit more. Or used a different skin detail. Because I thought her, I think her nose looks kind of weird. So, <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, this is basic, basically me already on her formal outfit. I think her formal outfit is so gorgeous. I think she looks so good. I She looks really good in these like beige bluey colors and whites. Um, I think she's just a really pretty sim. But I do think the original sim was a little bit more attractive <laughs> in my opinion. But I honestly don't know which one is more culturally... Not culturally, but like ethnically like physically accurate i don't know because obviously as you know i don't make these sims like cultural themed i just kind of make them their faces look more of a certain country but i don't really make their like clothes cultural or ethnically um influenced <laughs> so yeah um yeah here is her sleepwear i gave her blue sleepwear i thought that maybe like maybe i didn't add enough colors in her outfits i'm not sure but i just i didn't really go for that many colors for her outfits because i just thought that like i don't know i just felt like she was pale like she's blonde hair i think more subtle colors or less colors is better than like doing yellow or orange or something like that i think that those kind of colors look good on my other sims um yeah obviously i cut out all the makeup I'll, I'll be adding the makeup um because that always takes a while um but yeah so that's her party outfit here we are on her onto her swimwear i think she looks so good in her swimwear and I love the hair for I chose for her. The hair I chose for her in, in her swimwear. I it's like this little ponytail. I ended up going with like this little ponytail. And obviously, you'll see I changed things a lot. Like I was so indecisive about the hair here. I didn't actually end up with that hair. I gave her a hat later and gave her like a little ponytail on the side. I thought she looked so good. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure about what makeup I wanted to do for her sleep- not sleepwear, her swimwear. Because I don't want to go too over the top when I make sims eat, doing their uh, swimwear or their sleepwear. Or even their athletic wear, like... I don't want to give them too much makeup because it's kind of... It's kind of unnatural. Sorry, I just had to yawn. <laughs> it's kind of unnatural and so... Like, I, I think I want to maybe try to, like, limit how much makeup I put on my sims. <laughs> because I realize I put a lot of makeup on my sims. Um, obviously they look good, but I think maybe the CC that, if you, ha if you download the CC or just, or maybe even download the sim and the CC, you'll see that there's so many items of makeup that I use that... Maybe I need to tone it down a bit. I'm not sure, but <laughs> yeah. Here I'm already on her cold weather outfit. I thought this was a really cute jacket for her. This like beige grayish jacket. I don't even know what color it is, but she looks super cute in this outfit. And yeah, 
I was a little indecisive about which shoes I wanted to give her in this outfit because I wanted them to match the jacket, coat, or whatever she's wearing, this dress coat. I don't even know what to call it. I wanted to match it, but it was kind of hard to find. It took me a while to find shoes that match that coat. Because a lot of the times when I make my sims, I want to make them really color coordinated. As I always say in all these videos, but yeah. I gave her this really nice hat, which I thought just tied in so nicely with the outfit for her cold weather. I, I didn't go with this hair because I thought it looked kind of odd with the outfit um, and that hat. Or beret or whatever you call it. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's probably just beret, but yeah. Um, here I realized I forgot lashes. I didn't forget lashes, but I think they glitched with the hat, so I had to add a different kind of lashes. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this Kratos sim. That's the hair I end up going with her for the for the cold weather outfit. Um, I think she's pretty, but I honestly like the original version better. But I hope you like her though. So thanks for watching. Bye.